what I'm going to do this evening is just go over how I use call fire to to implement an automated broadcast of my properties as a wholesaler as a real estate wholesaler <clears throat> and I've used the voice broadcast service before in the past and what the voice broadcast service is is it basically allows you to upload a specific audio file that gets played when the recipients pick up the phone uh, during the broadcast so you would give let's, in, in this instance you would give call fire a list of phone numbers it would automatically dial those numbers and when those people pick up they would hear this pre-recorded message in the case of real estate it will, as a wholesaler it would probably be a message about your property that you have for wholesale but I've done that maybe I think twice but this time around what I wanted to do was use the hosted IVR uh, service and what that is is basically a phone tree and it's kind of more customized and it allows users to hear different messages when they press option one three and five for instance and um, this is what I've used as of lately as uh, IVR standing for I think it's internal voice response if I'm not mistaken so anyway I'm just gonna give like a quick overview of how I use this service kinda of where I made some mistakes and um, you know what I've learned so this is the the campaign that I put together yesterday and I'll just go through as if I was going to create a um, a new campaign and I'll just bring up the old IVR So, just bring up my IVRs, and this is the one here. <clears throat> okay, so here it is. So basically, with the IVR, you have two options. And it, I made the mistake earlier of not having the no answering machine option versus the live answer option. Um, so basically, the broadcast that I did yesterday everyone who received the message heard the the same the same audio regardless of whether they picked up the phone or not and that, that didn't really make sense and I guess you'll understand why in a minute but basically so here's the here's the phone tree kind of the the flow of operation here so if the outgoing call was made and it didn't receive an answering machine or a voicemail then it would play uh, it, well it would consider it live and it would give this menu the main menu being the greeting that kinda gives a brief overview of each property and it would say I'll just generalize it, it would say Hi, my name's Justin. I have three wholesale properties available. One is at 123 Main Street. The second is at 231 Main Street. And the fourth is at 431 Main Street. And it would say they're all three bedroom, one bath. And in the $40,000 range. And they have the cash flow potential of $300 a month so it would say here it would give them an option it would say please if you're interested in in learning more about these properties please leave your name and your information uh, by pressing one they will press one and it would go boop and you know of course they would leave their information then call fire would hang up then it would say uh, if that wasn't what they wanted it would say if you are interested in, um, if you're not interested in buying, but rather in selling a piece of property, please press three. They press three, and it would say, "Please leave the property address, the phone number, 
and out of the asking price in your name. And they would go boop, right? And they'd leave their information and they would hang up. And then the last option was please leave, or actually it would say please press 8 to get on our do not call list. They would press 8 and they go boop. It would say you have now been placed on our do not call list and then would hang up. However, I learned that this was a, a mistake because there's I know with the voice broadcast, there's a way to let Callfire know that a caller has been placed on the do not call list, but with the IVR there is no specific tag for the do not call list. Um, so that it so that all phone numbers would be scrubbed against your internal do not call list. Uh, I won't go into too much detail about that, but that's basically all the live answer options. Then, if someone were to be presented with the machine, which is here, then it would play an answering machine message. And I'll just go through a little test here to pretty much display the text to speech option. What I did with all my other, with all my live answer options is I, I basically recorded my own voice as the prompts and so you can do that by phone and use those but the text-to-speech option isn't really bad at all it doesn't sound too robotic so I'll go ahead and uh, I'll do a, a test call right now and uh, let's see so I'll just go to test your IVR and make sure my phone is should only take a couple of seconds here I'll bring up the text so you know what it's about to say Hold on. <laughs> let me let me cancel out. I wasn't supposed to answer that. Let's go back. Um, test your IVR, and uh, I need to let it go to voicemail. So ignore it. Should hear the voicemail message in a minute. Just want to let y'all hear how the this automated text-to-speech option sounds. It sounds pretty good, in my opinion. So I'll let here's the text of what it's gonna say. I have three wholesale properties available in Champaign, Illinois. The addresses are blah blah blah. Should get that notification here soon.